Born in Maysville, South Carolina in 1875, Mary McLeod was the child of Sam and Patsy McLeod, two former slaves. Her mother and father worked very hard to provide for their family. Mary would go with her mother to take wash to white homes, and Mary would sometimes be allowed to go into the children's nurseries. One day she picked up a book, and as she opened it, a white child took it away from her saying that she didn't know how to read. Mary decided then and there that reading and writing is all that separated white and black people. She was inspired to learn. It was not easy for young Mary. She walked five miles a day to a one-room segregated schoolhouse. But she worked very hard and earned a scholarship to attend college even. Mary McLeod married Albertus Bethune in 1898 and moved to Florida to run a mission school. Working with those children at the mission school gave her the dream of starting her own school for black girls. Albertus and Mary moved to Daytona Beach, and she used $1.50 to start the Literary and Industrial Training School for Negro Girls. The furniture was made of old crates, the pencils were made of burnt wood, and the ink for pens was made out of elderberry juice. Mary, though, was not deterred by the difficulty of starting the school. Even after her husband left the family, Mary persisted. In 1931, the Methodist Church helped her school to merge with the nearby boys' school, Cookman Institute, forming Bethune-Cookman College. It began as a junior college, became a four-year college, and today stands proudly as a private university. It has educated generations of young people, including many underprivileged children and many young adults. Those students, too, have gone out to serve others, transforming the world around them. A dollar fifty and a dream was transformed into a legacy of faith and learning because Mary McLeod Bethune never gave up, no matter how difficult her path. She lived out her dream that education could indeed change lives. <laughs>